Hi travellers, I'm Anne's daughter Lalika. Now I'm just figuring out my train ticket. Sorry, that light was really bright. <laughs> so I'm here in Sibiu Cib and tomorrow I am leaving. It's been so nice here so please check out my video of just walking around the town and also the Airbnb where I'm staying. I am going to leave to go to Bulgaria. Woohoo! Somewhere new. Yes! I've been buying all my train tickets domestically in Romania online. I'll put the link in the description box below and there's also one for international travel however you have to book them 48 hours in advance which today when I woke up and was like I want to leave tomorrow I'm like damn it <laughs> so I am well glad that I happen to be in this town where everything's within walking distance it is also an international airport here it was still cheaper to take the train it is gonna take all day um, I've got my e-reader all ready to go. <laughs> I've actually been, I've actually been reading a book. Shock horror. So I've got three tickets because I've got two changes to make tomorrow. So in total it cost. That's from Bucharest to Sofia. Is one twenty six. This is the first time I've had real hands on tickets. I've never. I've always just shown them online. I've shown them on my phone as a PDF. I've got my train ticket tomorrow which was 72 from here to Bucharest and I am going at stupid o'clock because <laughs> because it means that then I don't have to pay another night's accommodation and I get to Bucharest at 10 10 20 and then I have to get on another train at 11 o'clock so I've got 40 minutes in Bucharest train station. Now I've been there a couple of times now and there's plenty of food options there. There's McDonald's, there's Subway, there's the Pauline Bakery which I do like and there's a little Care for Express so if you need to get water or beer <laughs> if you're so inclined. And then I arrive in Rus at 1.45 in the afternoon. Now I don't know where the border crossing is, I've got to be honest, right at this moment I have no idea. But again it very clearly says my car and my seat number, ooh I hope I really do have a window seat, that'd be cool. These are all second class, this was the only one from here to Bucharest that had the option of being first class and he didn't even ask me. I've only ever been second class so please check out that video and I'm there for half an hour because then I go at 2.15 to Sofia and arrive at 8 so that's a bit of a long stretch and I assume that's in Bulgaria I actually don't know. I do have a few snacks that I'm taking with me which I just have here because then I can just have them on the floor. So I've got one of those roundy things that I can't pronounce. Air reader there. I've decanted it from a big bowl into a smaller bottle because it's got a sippy top which I much prefer and of course I've got some little milk so this bag I will have like at my feet um, with second class yeah there's not a lot of leg room so I just strap this to the top of my carry-on so that then when I get on the train I can quickly unstrap it but anyway I am going to put my phone charger and we're getting into Sophia I don't know where I am and it's dark which is not my usual go-to I prefer to arrive in the daytime but there just isn't a train that arrives in the day I could fly and do it and it would arrive during the day. I'm not sure, sorry, the bits I'm not sure about right now is where to change money that I have to do and I'm just hoping it's like Romania here where there's kind of exchange places. I know the rates at the train station are not going to be great but basically there is no Uber in Sofia so and I don't know if my Vodafone Romanian SIM card will work there yet. I've googled a bit but I really can't find it out so I'm gonna have to take the subway which is fine but I need money <laughs> so I'm gonna have to do a crappy exchange somewhere. Obviously have my passport on on my person too. Let's get boarded onto that train. Hi ho this is editing me just interrupting this to say for those of you that are like wait I thought this was a two-day trip there are more videos to come because we got an email from work to say don't come in because of the outbreak and I went Woohoo! and so I cancelled my return flight 
and just left it open because as we have all lived through things were really starting to kick off then and as part of my continued trip every day I was googling uh, cases in Romania and that dictated when I left because I was like as soon as they have one I'm out. Obviously I'm fine and got back and got back to Kuwait and at that time it was so new that of course yeah masks and people social distancing it wasn't a thing I didn't experience anything until I returned back to Kuwait which are also some upcoming videos so please consider subscribing.